What is up guys, it's your man Steady Chaos. This is Steady Chaos Productions. So today I wanted to bring you a quick tips and tricks video. So if you're like me, you have an OLED television that you use as your PC monitor. And of course, what is the primary concern with that? Of course, burn-in, right? Everybody is scared of burn-in, particularly when you use your OLED TV as a PC monitor because you have so many bright white static windows when you're browsing the internet. And if you're like me, you browse the internet the vast majority of the time with your PC. So for the vast majority of people, they use Google Chrome. So if you look at Google Chrome, you see here, it's super fast, it's a great browser. Mozilla Firefox, fast, great browser, that's fine. But look at how bright the screen got. Bright white, this, this TV is just blaring me right now with brightness. And as far as I understand it, there is no option in the settings of Chrome to have an all dark sort of theme with all the websites you go to or to force a dark mode to every website you go to. I don't see it anywhere. So I thought to myself, okay, I guess I have to go to every individual website and those websites that have a dark theme, then I will engage it. So look for YouTube, for example, I have the dark theme engaged. If you have an account, all you do is you just click on your face and you come down here to dark theme and you would just check the dark theme and turn it on. It makes your screen much dimmer, much darker, and you really reduce your chances of getting burn in. However, other major websites like Amazon, I'm not aware of them having a dark theme. They probably do in their settings, but who really wants to go website to website to website and manually setting or adjusting to a dark theme when you don't even know if that website has a dark theme. So what I have done, and it sort of was by accident, I stumbled across Opera GX, um, a really fast hardware accelerated browser. Everybody knows about Opera, but this Opera GX is a new browser that is sort of built off of the foundation of Opera, but it's kind of centered around hardware acceleration and it's kind of centered around gamers. So it's nice and fast. It's I wouldn't say it's any faster than Chrome, but it has tons and tons of features. Uh, so let's open up Opera right here. Now, if you want to download this Opera GX beta browser, uh, you just go to opera.com and look, you can see Opera right in here, download now. It's totally free of charge. But if you scroll down, you look at some of the options. So Firefox, Chrome, Opera, you see the check marks in the various options, browser themes, private browsing, video pop-up, things like that. They all have these options, but when you start getting down to extra options here, built-in snapshots, free and unlimited VPNs, built-in messengers, Opera GX has all of these various options, visual bookmarks, workspaces, and it doesn't appear that Chrome or Firefox have these additional options, so that's great, right? But the biggest one right here is the dark and light mode right here. Now they claim that Chrome has this, but I, I, like I said, I can't find it anywhere, and Firefox does not have this option, so if you are a Firefox user, you absolutely don't have this option. So dark and light mode. So watch what happens when I engage dark and light mode in Opera GX. You come up to settings, you scroll down just a wee bit, force dark pages beta. Click on it, bam, dark. Oh, it's amazing. Look at this, my screen has gone from bright, searingly white boxes to just nice and dark. And it really accentuates the colors. To look at the green check marks, they look nice and bright and contrasty. You go, let's, let's try it out. Let's go to Yahoo now. Black. I did not have to adjust anything in the YouTube browser itself. It was already automatically forced into a dark mode by Opera GX browser. I don't even know if Yahoo has a dark mode or Opera is doing some work behind the scenes to make it dark, but here it is. It's nice and dark. So I really feel like this helps with OLED TV owners and especially when they set their TVs up as a PC monitor. You're not blasting your TV with that bright white and you're not blasting your face with that bright white either. Let's try Facebook. Black, dark. Amazon, dark. YouTube, dark. Twitter, already dark. Uh, what else do we have? Real Clear Politics, uh, it's a political website, dark. It's just unbelievable. N4G, a video gaming debt website, dark. Um, Canva, dark. And all these websites I have saved. Uh, 8K wallpaper website, dark. Everything is black. Everything is dark. So not only do you do your OLED TV a favor by increasing its lifespan, by reducing the amount of time it's spent blaring these bright white backgrounds on your browser, you also do your eyes a service late at night. 
if you're up one, two, three in the morning and you find yourself browsing for hours on end, you're no longer staring into this brutally bright white background on your browser and you probably will benefit greatly. You'll have less headaches. You'll just be more comfortable, less dry eye. And one more thing about Opera GX too, is like I said, it's hardware accelerated and it's kind of built around gamers. So if you hit this little joystick button up here in the top left, they have game deals. It's called the GX Corner. And you can click on these games and they're all free to play. It's kind of like a Steam service as far as I get, or maybe it's through Epic or it's through Steam here. I don't know. Maybe this is through Microsoft Game Store. I, I don't know. It's like they're pulling from all of these various gaming platforms and they're showing their deals here. You see Control is 20% off. It has its rating, it got an 86 on Steam. So yeah, it has all kinds of gaming friendly features integrated into the browser. And it also has, if you click on this tachometer right here, it's called GX Control. You can throttle your network, it's called Network Limiter. You can do that to the Opera GX browser. You can throttle the amount of RAM or limit the amount of RAM that the Opera GX browser has access to with your computer. If you only have, say, four gigabytes of RAM and you don't want your browser to hog it all, you can limit it or you can leave it unlimited like I do. Um, it has a CPU limiter too. Limit how much CPU Opera GX can use. So if you're trying to multitask and you're doing background things, you're, maybe you're rendering in the background and you wanna browse at the same time, but you want the priority to go to your render, then you would just throttle your Opera GX browser. You'd cap it at say 40% CPU power. So there are all kinds of cool hardware accelerated options, uh, gaming features built into Opera GX, and most importantly, the whole point of this video is the force dark theme for every single website you go to. That is a great feature for OLED owners, and it is just something that I really wanted to pass along to you guys, the community, uh, my fellow OLED owners out there. So that's gonna do it for me, guys. If you have enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please leave a like and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and we will see you guys soon. Peace.